How's it going everyone? Monspider here bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG Online. Uh, today, a bit of a different episode, uh, very much a chilled episode and just a really chatting episode. So I'm actually still sitting with a triple dragon challenge. So I'm going to be playing some Soaring Storm today and just talking. And what I want to talk about today is just, like, I feel like I'm stuck in a bit of a rut with Pokemon at the moment. Um, it's basically a combination, like, these versus rewards don't excite me, so I don't really feel inclined to climb this ladder. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, the two latest theme decks, Summer's Entonization, really didn't excite me as much as I was hoping they would. So, I, I don't feel like playing with them. And the same is kind of true of the Sword and Shield ones. So, like, Sword and Shield, I was slightly more behind because I enjoyed playing the Rillaboom. But I'm really... As fun as Zation and Zamazenta are, I don't feel like I want to play them. And because they just get stomped because so many people are playing Relentless Flame. And I end up not really wanting to play them as much because they're not as enjoyable to play. Um, I kind of want to hold on to this hand just so I can Pokemon Center, Pokemon Communication, a Pidgeotto next turn. So I really felt like I've been in a bit of a rut, a rut recently. I haven't been playing a lot. I mean, this challenge I've had for the last, like, three days and haven't actually finished it yet. Um, which is quite sad. Because, like, I love playing this game. It's just, at the moment, I feel like it's in a bit of a stale place. And recently I saw some pictures that possibly the next two theme decks are going to be a fighting type deck with um, Surfetched and a ward type deck with Dalmanitan, Galarian Dalmanitan. Now that's quite exciting. Um, uh, man, now I don't know if I want to Pokemon. Actually, I want to Pokemon Communication. This just makes more sense. Let's drop that away quickly. Let's bring out the Pidgeotto. Because I want to get those draws going. Let's get Pidgeotto down. Let's may as well drop Chincho now. Let's take and of this for a new hand. And... Eh, eh, it's decent. It's not great, but it's decent, I guess. Uh, yes, Tornadus, that's what I want to see. So let's get Tornadus down. Let's drop this energy on Tornadus, and I want to get the Stratini out of there. Cool. So yeah, as I was saying, um, the two new decks I've seen pictures of, again, I'm not 100% certain if they're the ones that are coming out or not, but it looks to be a... Um, yeah, Galarian Dormantitan, a water deck, and the Fighting Surfetched. Now, that can be quite exciting, because I really do like the new Sword and Shield cards. I like them quite a lot. I actually think, like, this set's a really, really interesting set. And I've enjoyed playing it on the Switch. So, I'm excited for more of that content. Um, uh, man, I don't know what I want to do here. I don't really want to drop this Tornadus in. Let me bug catch this, see what I get. <laughs> got energies for days. Uh, I'm actually going to switch into Rutini. I'd rather lose Rutini in this sense than the Lantern. So I'm quite excited about the two new theme decks coming out. I like the Sword and Shield set. I think it's a lot of fun. And I'd like to see more of their Pokemon. No, more of the set's Pokemon. <clears throat> so I'm definitely keen to see what, it, what comes out of it. Oh man, another prof, really? Ah, oh, that was super lucky from them. That's quite frustrating. Um, so I'm interested to see what they bring out, and I think the decks could do really well. And we could certainly use another fighting type deck. I mean, yes, we've got, um, Towering Heights, which is still awesome, and we've got the Guard Trump deck, which is still a very good deck. But we could use some more. I mean, it's always nice having a bit more versatility and a few more options as well. I always appreciate that. So seeing more of those options come out will be awesome. Ah, man, I can't believe they got a second prof off. Really, really irritating, actually. Okay, let's drop this Tornado in. I'm going to have to prof most... Ah, uh, Pokemon fan club, most likely. Uh, because I really want to get the bench damage off. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for that. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't know why I did that. I've really got a Lantern down. That was silly of me. Okay, Pokemon fan club. Let's bring out the Thunderous. Let's bring another Tornado. I actually brought out a Teeny there. That was silly of me. Let's drop that down there. Let's drop that down there. Let's get that energy going on Tornado. And let's hope they don't have a Blitzel. A. Uh, not a Blitzel. Blitzel's Evolution. Uh, I'm drawing a complete blank right now. What's Blitzel's Evolution called? Oh man, I'm drawing a complete blank. 
Zip Striker. <laughs> um, so yeah, and with the Sir Fetch deck, um, as I said, it's a fighting type deck. It, it generally has pretty well coverage because a lot of decks run normal type Pokemon. So that's always exciting to see. And oh man, these draws. So I'm definitely keen to get another fighting type deck out. I don't want to see a Pidgeot. It doesn't really help me that much. Um, I so should have brought out a Dratini there. You know, like, I've got water type energies in this deck. I don't know if my deck is aware of that or not. But let's see. And let's get some more damage down onto the bench. Not as much as we liked. Um, scared I'm going to lose it next turn to an Ampharos, a very early Ampros or a Zip Striker. But let's see. I'm really hoping they don't have a Zip Striker. Ah, oh, man. I think Zip Striker does either 50 or 60 damage. No, it's a weak Zip Striker. It might only be 40 damage. I can't actually remember this deck now. And yes, with the Dominatine deck coming out, again, I'm happy seeing that because it's more of a shutdown for Relentless Flame. Whilst I do think Storing Storm is a better deck, there's a lot of people playing Relentless Flame. And I'm hoping that another water type deck might drop that slightly. Okay, um, I got the Dratini out, which is not good, which means I need the Tornadoes to actually drop. Broken Communication, I do want to see. Let's bring that out. Drop another energy there. Um, may as well catch her this turn. Fail, but that's okay. There's the Dragonair. This is actually a really good hand, because I've got that line going. Um, nothing else to really do other than just go for the Tornado. Alright, there's Lily. Not going to really do much, unfortunately. Um, Lily really did lose a lot of value when the changeover happened that you can no longer play supports in the first turn. So now moving forward, the Domanitan deck, I think it has a lot of potential because like I said, it does shut down Relentless Flame, which is a good thing. And it could be interesting. Now, what's going to come into play is whether the, whether the Galarian Domanitan is weak to Lightning, which I presume it will be. Um, and again, that's just going to bump up both the Stormcaller and the Soaring Storm decks, which is a bit awkward. Uh, I won't lie, it's a bit awkward. It's not fantastic. But that being said, I think it could be a good thing. I'm really hoping it's actually weak to metal because Domantan is more of an uh, ice type Pokemon. I'm hoping it's going to be weak to like metal or something, and that'll be very interesting because, quite frankly, this metal type decks need a bit of love. Because they're not in a great spot. Hey, I got a water energy. Who knew I actually had water energies? Um, let me Pokemon Communication. I actually want to get a second Lantern out. Oh, they yielded. Okay, well that's a bit unfortunate because I didn't get my challenge done. Um, but hey. Uh, let's carry on going. Soaring Storm is definitely a nice deck to so just get a bit further on the ladder. Again, like I said, I'm not too excited about the ladder, but I can always use the trainer tokens. Uh, I do want to be hovering around a thousand trainer tokens because I'm wondering if those decks are going to come out end of this month or end of next month. Uh, I'm hoping end of this month because, like I said, I really do want to see some more, some more theme decks out there because these last two just didn't excite me, and it's actually been a big reason why I haven't been playing much recently. I just haven't really been excited for the game, which is quite sad. Because as I said, I do like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I spent enough time playing. I do really enjoy, really do enjoy playing this game. So I think some new fresh theme decks will really help out. And let me know, what do you think? How? Let me know down in the comments below, how have all of you been feeling with the most recent like theme decks coming out? Because I feel like the most recent five theme decks, they're kind of been like, meh. Because I mean, the Sword and Shield decks, whilst interesting because they're like the first set of decks to come out of Sword and Shield, they weren't fantastic. They really weren't fantastic. And Zacian Zamazenta came out. I was really hoping they could do better. And whilst they're fun decks to play, they just weren't that interesting. So let me know down below, what do you think? Have, have the most recent, most recent releases been interesting for you? Or not really? I would really love to get Lily off this turn, but considering I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll be playing one, go down six, and hopefully I'm gonna draw a basic Pokemon. I'm not gonna get much value out of this Lily, which is quite sad. Um, I'm hoping for early Thunderous, an early Tornadus to come out to get Thunderous online. I'd like to see Thunderous hitting hard on turn two. Um, I actually probably should have gone first. I don't know why I chose to go second. It's Well, I guess like second's nice if you get a Pidgey or a um, Muck out. 
I'll unlock a... My brain is not working this morning. Grimer. I don't know what's happening. My brain is just not working. This is a really bad opening hand as well. Oof, it just got worse. This is really not a good opening hand. Um, I need to draw Dratini on this next turn. Dratini or Tornadus. I don't know why, but I always get so confused between Tornadus and Thunderous. Like, I know, Tornado, Wind, Air type, makes complete sense. Thunderous, Thunder, Lightning kind of thing. It makes sense. But I don't know why, it just it doesn't stick with me. If they've got a Dragonite, this is actually game over. Like, straight up, it's game over if they've got a Dragonite. I'm gonna be so sad if that's what happens. Okay, let's see. Um, Pidgey, I guess it's something. Uh, let's go for the whole of 20 damage, which is super not exciting. Okay, um, I'm really hoping they don't have Dragonite here, because I mean, Dragonite 2 energy is this game. If they don't, I'm actually in a decent spot. Ooh, they're digging for it. They didn't have it, but they're digging for it. I need to get super lucky here. Oh, they didn't get it. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. Oh, and there's a Tornadus as well. That's actually really good. Um, let's go for the Raging Thunder. Sorry, Pidgey, but you're not going to see an active spot either way. Okay, um, that was that was really lucky. I was terrified that my opponent would draw a Dragonite. And at least now with the Tornadus on the bench, I can use Thunder Scale. And it's not going to be detrimental to my bench as Raging Thunder is. And I'll still be getting a KO. Thankfully, I can KO all of their Pokemon, which is decent. Um, that was a huge swing. The problem is I'm still not getting my challenge done, which is really irritating, because I actually need to get a Dratini to get my challenge done. Jeez, they're getting lucky with their Dragon Line. They are getting super lucky with their Dragon Line. Um, oh, may as well build up Tornadus. There's not much else to do. <sighs> really? Really? Why is that happening to me? Like, that's great. I'm glad I'm drawing those, but I mean, I kind of need Dratini first. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not that useful. Um, Fastball seems to be drawing pretty decently. They're certainly having a better game than I am. I just got a luckier start getting Thunderous online. <sighs> Don't let that be a Dragonite. I really hope that's not a Dragonite. I'm not ready for Dragonite yet. Dratini? Okay. Pokemon Communication. The thing is, like, I really want to get Dratini out, but I really want to get a Pidgeot out as well. Ugh, Dratini makes more sense. Okay, let's get Dratini out. I've got another Pokemon communication I can get out uh, next turn. Actually, I can do it right now. I don't want to wait next turn. Okay, let's get that draw going. Uh, sweet, sweet draw. It really is one of the best things about this deck. Like, don't underestimate this Pidgeotto. The amount of draw you get from it changes the game. 100% changes the game. Lantern, that's quite good. Um, I've played the Chincho this turn, unfortunately, so I'm not going to get it online just yet. Let's drop that there. Nothing else to really do. So let's just go for Thunder Scale. So we're up 3-6, which is really, really good. So we are hidden prize card, which is always a good thing. Um, I can hopefully get the Dratini line going. I'm wondering if my opponent has Dragonite. I'm presuming they don't. Yeah, the fact that they're throwing away their Tornadus. Like, that play there shows you how useful Pidgeotto is. The fact that they would rather you lose a Tornadus than lose a Pidgey, which could evolve into Pidgeotto. Ah, oh, I have another Tornadus as well. Okay, they're digging again for another Dragonite. Let's see if they can bring it out. Um, if they can... It's a bit of a problem. But it's not the end of the world, because my Tornadus is ready to go. So I'm not terrified of it, and I'm going to be able to get Lantern down this turn as well, which means my energy recycling system is going to be online, which is always a very, very good thing. Let's get these evolutions going. At least I'm finally getting my challenge done. Let's airmail this. Uh, let's go for a draw three. More draw is always a good thing. I'm still sitting with 32 cards in my deck, so I could certainly use this. Uh, there's another Tornadus, which is quite a good thing as well. Let's get that Tornadus, second Tornadus down. Let's get that water energy over there. Nothing else to do. Uh, so let's just get this knockout. I was actually tempted there to switch out into the Thunderous Tornado. Um, more reason for that was putting damage on the bench, but I'd rather play aggressively in case they didn't draw the Dragonite. 
uh, I don't want to give them more time to draw into it. I presume they've got it. They must have it. Unless they're going for the uh, destructive whirlpool, which I would be surprised if that's what they're doing. I mean, it's such a it's it's a very risky play because this is their second Dragonair, which means that they're basically finished off this. Um, and I'm not really then worried about a Dragonite coming out. So unless they have a Dragonite now, they might have just. But this might just be a huge hail mary. I think this is a huge. Yeah, it's a huge hail mary. Yeah, it's not even enough damage. You're still short. Okay. Um, again, like I see what they're doing, but unfortunately, they just ended up being short. Like bad draws happened, which it's it's true. It does just happen sometimes, unfortunately. I'm gonna start charging up my dragon out because I actually really want to get my challenge done. Uh, I want a Pokemon Fan Club this turn to bring out another Thunderous and a Dratini in case I can get more of my challenge done. Nothing else to really do, so let's just go for Raging Tornado, uh, Raging Thunder, sorry, and put some damage on Lantern. Lantern always comes in as basically like a one hit wonder, so I'm not terribly worried about putting damage on it because it shouldn't be sticking around for a second turn. Okay, I really hope my opponent doesn't concede just so I can put Dragonite out. I actually wonder, because Fairy's going away, if they're going to change the Dragon-type weakness to Dragon. I really hope they do, because, I mean, with the exit of Fairy, Dragons need a weakness. So I'm curious to see what next Dragon card is printed, whether it's going to be Dragon weakness or not. Because, like, to me, that makes sense. Please don't concede, please don't concede, please don't concede. I really want to get this attack off. Because I don't, I like, I don't want to be playing Soaring Storm all the time. I'm actually bored of this deck. Because I've been playing it quite a bit recently. Mainly for the top 10 video. But like I've been playing it quite a bit. And I really want to stop playing it now. Uh, Dragon Impact. Okay cool. At least got an attack off which helps my challenge. One, two, three. And that's game. Yay, I'm getting slightly further with my challenge. <laughs> I still need so many games. Because the problem is I got the irritating knockout. Get 10 knockout with Dragon type Pokemon. And like that takes so long to do. Cause like thousand damage is actually more manageable than ten knockouts. Like come oh, sorry, sixteen knockouts. I mean it still ends up being like 16, 20 games with that deck. Um so I'm gonna jump into one more. I'm actually gonna jump into a standard game. I've actually been really enjoying standard recently. Um I wanna give our Picarom deck one more try. Oh, that was the wrong Picarom deck. Ah oh, man, this is the base one. I meant to play the other one. Whoopsie. Oh well. Not ideal, but it's okay. Um, I need to remember that I've actually the alternate box is the one I need to play with. I must say, I'm enjoying Santa more that I've actually got like decent decks now. Like I've got some pre-built decks, which are doing really, really well. So I really do appreciate those decks being sent to me again. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm definitely getting more into it. Let's go to the top 7 card deck. If any of those cards are an item card, put them into your hand. Wow, this is a really item heavy deck. I have no idea what deck this is. That's my biggest problem with stand at the moment is not doing... Oh, it's an ADP deck. Yeah, the thing is, I just... I don't know the decks, which is a huge, huge problem. I'll just get around to building my mill deck again. Uh, well, like, not build it again, but work on it again. Um... Hmm. There's ADP already. That's scary. Um, I think I need to use this this turn. Okay, let's see. So, what does Jirachi give me? Um, uh, Pokemon communication? Do I want that? I don't really want anything else. Actually, I could use the energy switch more, I guess, because I'm going to be bringing out those two with electric, electromagnetic radar anyway. So let's bring that out. Uh, I'm going to drop these two energies, because I know I can bring them back later. So let's bring out these two beauties. Let's go for Pokecure, see what we get. Another Mellow and Lana. 
That's a good car, but it's not what I want right now. Let's drop that there. And... Unfortunately, I didn't get any energy, so it's a bit of an awkward situation. So I think let's just pass for now. I need to get this full blitz online earlier. I really meant to play my other deck, I'm sorry. I hope I can actually still win this game. Because I really, really meant to play my modified deck. But mistakes happen. Um, I need to remember what this... I haven't actually used this Raichu in a lot on Raichu, really. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. If this Pokemon has at least two extra energies attached to it, in addition to the attack's cost, this attacks 100 more damage. So it's 200 damage on a Switch, which is really, really good if you can get five energies onto it. I need to get five energies onto it. Wow, they're really charging up that station. For Brave Blade. I'm surprised they didn't drop the frying pan on... Oh, they can't drop the frying pan on that, sorry. Ah, oh, Jirachi. Ah, oh, no, man. Here goes Picarom. That's a bit unfortunate. Um... Yeah, I think this is going to be a very short game. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a very short game. So I'll be able to jump... I'm going to jump into one more with my actual Picarom deck. I've actually kind of got more into standard recently. Um... Just like with these new decks, it's actually helped me a lot. So... I want to... Put that there. I want to Mallow and Lana. I want to do both. I'm going to use these two, unfortunately. It's not great, but it is what it is. To bring out Jirachi. For a bit of a heal. Let's go for a Stellar Wish. Um, yes, Prof. Thank you. Oh, I can't Prof this turn. I forgot I played Mellow and Lana. Damn. Okay. Um, let's hope they don't have a way to switch out. Because I need to get Prof off this next turn. Because this hand has been terrible. Absolutely terrible. Let's see what happens. Um, the issue is if they are able to drag out Picarom and get the attack off of the Zacian V, I'm going to be in serious trouble. But the thing is, they might... Oh, man, don't Crushing Hammer me. Really? Like, actually, I've taken Crushing Hammer out of a lot of my decks because I never get it off. But of course, playing against me, it happens quite regularly. Please wake up. No, man, Jacian. Jason, Jirachi, sorry. <sighs> okay, let's let's get a new hand. This is awkward. Um, right. This is not fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is really not fantastic. Still a wish. Uh, there's the air balloon, which I do actually want. I'm saving it, I think, for the next Jirachi. Let's put that there, so I can always retreat. And let's pass this over. Uh, I'm scared... Gee, this Jirachi does not want to wake up. I know air balloon is better on one of the other ones, but I want to be able to get still a wish off with Jirachi next turn and then get it out of there. Um, I'm probably going to be mining on this next turn, depending on what happens. Because this has been such a slow start for this deck. It's not even funny. There's another clay. What's this? Power plant? Pokemon GX, Pokemon EX in play have no abilities. Uh, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Man. Okay. Here goes Picaron, which is really unfortunate. Um... Yeah, that's really unfortunate. But it does mean I can reset stamp my opponent, which is a good thing. Okay. Let's bring out Jirachi. Let's reset stamp that. Um, let's get that energy down there. Let's see what... Uh, actually, I don't want to steal a wish just yet, because I actually want to... Don't want to prof... I kind of want to actually go for Erica. I 
we go for Erica this turn? Let me see what we get. Ah, oh, that was terrible. I should not have done that. Okay, let's do both. Let's get that back. Let's get those energies back. Um, uh, Pokemon Communication. Let's get rid of this Electros. Let's bring out the... I'm actually very tempted to bring out the Top of Coco. I think we'll bring this out just in case. Let me see what I get from Stellar Wish. Ah, I got a Switch or Pokemon. I'm gonna go for Switch because I might need Switch more. So let's get Top of Coco down. Um, go Switch into this Jirachi. Go see what I get from Stellar Wish. Um, not great. Another. Oh, I'll just grab that. It's not great. I want to take it out of my deck, basically. Alright, let's see what happens. Um, a bit of an awkward situation. I'm just not getting my energies out, which is really, really frustra frustrating me. <sighs> I got it off again. And all those items go back to their hand. Wow, that clay is awesome in that deck. Oof, this is where I'm, I wish I ran that muck that mills item cards. Ooh, that would be so much fun against this deck. Oof. It would be so nice against that deck. Okay. Now oh, they can finally bring it out. Uh, it doesn't really surprise me bringing out Altered Creation. I don't know how I win this. I don't know how I win this. I don't think I can. I think it's had too bad of a start and too many bad plays. Okay. Doesn't really help me. So let's, I'm profiting this hand away. I need a new hand. This has been terrible. There is what I kind of needed a while ago. So let's drop this down to the Ancients. There and there. Let's go. Oh, there. I wish I could put more, but anyway, let's go there. Um, don't have a way to get another energy there unless I get really, really lucky. Uh, didn't get really, really lucky, so let's go for reset stamp, which is still a good thing. Let's reset stamp this. Goodbye. And nothing else to do because unfortunately I just can't do anything with this Raichu. Uh, yeah, so that's me done. And again, my Jirachi is sleeping. My Jirachi has been sleeping very, very nicely. Okay. Gonna be down on one prize card, which is really awkward. Um, man, that clay in that deck is awesome. It's just so good because this gets all the items back. Yeah. Five items of seven cards, which is really, really good. I really need to build that muck deck, that muck mill. Okay. Um. I guess all I can really do is bring this Raichu and Raichu in. And get Tandem Shock off. Alright. Let's get that down there. Let's go for Stellar Wish. Um, that still doesn't give me enough energy. I think right now the switch to hopefully go into... Oh wait, I had to switch my hand. I should have taken that. Oh, that was silly of me. Okay. Let's switch there. Um, and I mean, what else am I going to do with this hand? Things I don't want to get more energies in Scott Power, so I'm actually going to Marnie this hand. Not great. Uh, let's bring out that. And let's go for the Tandem Shock. So this Paralyzer is going to buy me at least a turn, but my issue is that the Zacian will come in and knock it out. Because this went off with an additional 30 damage, if I'm not mistaken. So it's up to 240. 
Um, no, 260, sorry, not too far. I thought it dealt, dealt 210. But it's up to 260 damage. Oh man, minus 20, so I'm just gonna survive it, but that's the end game. That's unfortunate. Because then next turn, I can't do anything. Yeah, next turn I can't do anything. I'll drop the energy there. I have... The thing is, I get another prize card, so I can't even go out into Jirachi. There's literally nothing I can do. So, let's just go for Lightning Ride. Yes or no, I can't use another one. Let's switch out. Really not an ideal play. But it is what it is. Because it's taking so much less damage. Man, I played this one badly. I really played this one badly. I need to play more standard to get better at it. I'm still making too many bad plays. Still making way too many bad plays. But hey, it's part of the learning experience. It, it does certainly take time. <sighs> well played. Okay, let me play my, with my actual Picarom deck. Um, let's see if I can do a little better with that. I need to remember that I need to play with my actual one. Which is the whole reason I changed it. So I knew which one it was, and then I just completely forgot again. Alright. Salads. Salads 1. Let's go heads, let's see what we get. I lost the coin flip, that's alright. So let's see if we get the bolt on V's out, those certainly help a lot. Uh, to get that energy acceleration going. Uh, eh, not great. Not terrible, but not great. Okay, mm, let's get Jirachi down first. And let's just pass. Oh wait, I'm going first. I can't just pass. I need to get this Pikachu down. Hmm. At least, look, at least I can get the speed energy, which is going to be something decent. But hey. Another one. Lovely. So let's get the energy down there. Ooh, not bad, actually. Uh, that's not bad at all. It's still a wish and see what we get. Um... Honestly, I'm going to grab Prof. Because, I mean, most of this hand is now going to be in the discard pile anyway next turn. Let's get that there. Let's drop this down. One... Two. Let's bring up my other two. Let's get them down. This actually turned out to be a pretty decent st turn one. Let's get that down like that. Uh, and attach them to one of one of your Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. And this is which. What does this one do again? Tag Bolt hits one on the bench as well, for 170. Um, and f uh, let me put the energy there. And yeah, let's pass. Uh, and Jirachi wakes up. That's quite nice. So most, uh, I don't actually know if I want to Stellar Wish even. Because I'm going to be getting the hand away regardless. Well, I guess I could Stellar Wish, see what I get, see if I can get an, a decent item card. And then I get the hand away. If it's a trainer, then I just won't take it. The metal top on this card attacks take their less damage from your opponent's attacks, and your opponent's attacks and abilities can't put damage counts on it. That's really cool. Ah oh, man, really? That's frustrating. Alright. So, Marnie, I definitely don't want to pl be playing a Marnie right now. Uh, Zapdos, I'm happy if Zapdos goes down. That's still a wish. Um, yeah, we could air balloon this. Let's get that air balloon there. Let's switch into the other one. And let's say goodbye, rubbish hand. Hello. Not much better. What I just realized now is that I'm an absolute idiot because I can't actually get an attack off. Me being the bright spark I am, I forgot that I need three energies, not two. Ah, uh, whoops. 
bit of a bad play on my side there. Just a tad. Yeah, that was silly of me. Um... Yeah, that really was not a good play from my side. Okay. Um, let's go for... Let's get rid of that Jirachi. I'm trying to think, do I want Bolt Hunt maybe? I think I do want Bolt Hunt actually. Because what I can do now is I can mellow into Bolt Hunt and use Bolt Hunt's Electrify to get going. I think that's a better plan. So let me do that. Let me switch. Uh, let's get rid of that and reset stamp. I don't really want to drop reset stamp, but I want to rather keep energy switch. Let's go out into Bolt Hunt. Let's get a nice heal up. Let's go for an Electrify. Uh, do I have cards here I want to bring back yet? Not really, no. So let's go for Electrify. One, two. One. And two. Okay, that's looking a lot better. Um, and they have to switch shenanigans anyway to be able to attack me this turn, which is something good. Oh, they got switched shenanigans. That's always fun. Leave my tools alone. <sighs> oh, thank you for that, Marnie. I am more than happy with that. Let's see. That's actually pretty decent. It's not terrible. Not Yeah, it's it's decent actually. Um I think I'm gonna let Bolton go down. So let's get that energy going there. Let's get a Rotom back, see what I get. Oh I thought that was Acrobike, not Rotom Bark. I just clicked and I thought it was an acro bike. Oh, that was silly of me. That was very, very silly of me. Oh well. Joe's learning a new deck. Ah oh, man, I can't believe I said that. I needed those energies on this peak romp. Cannot believe I just did that. Poor, poor play on my side. Man, that was silly of me. It happens. Okay. Um, let's get this quick ball out. Because I want to get Tapo Coco going. Okay. I'm just going to go one energy at the moment, which is okay. It's all I need, really. Um, let's go and switch into this one. Let's play that. Let's go for Erica's Hospitality, get some very nice draws going. Let's reset stamp my opponent. Fortunately, I can't hit their bench, which is why I don't know why I put that energy there. Man, I haven't, like, I need to get used to playing this deck. I'm actually energy switch that out of there. And let's put it onto the. Uh, a lot on Raichu. Man, I'm making way too many errors today. And let's go for full blitz. Making way too many errors. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I deserve to lose this one. 100% deserve to lose this one.
Okay, well, this is certainly gonna be my last game. Yeah, they win this, because now the thing is they just go for an attack in this game. So I'm gonna try and keep it going as long as I can, but I don't think I can. Um, do I get something good for Poke Gear? I think I'm gonna prof this hand. Okay, and Tandem Shock. The thing is, this is actually game, unfortunately. Especially now that I'm building myself. Yo, this is a bad game. My word. Yeah, yeah, I know you know you won the game. Put that there because I got nothing better to do with it. I'm actually going to play this now just so the game ends. And then let's just go for Tandem Shock. Cool. Well played. Ah, oh, man. I deserve to lose this 100%. I played so badly. So badly. Alright. I definitely need to take a break after this. So, yeah. Like I said earlier in the video, please let me know your comments on what you think of the current state of the theme deck meta. Um... As I've, I'm still stuck in such a rut with it, which is why I've actually been playing more standard recently. I'm just not enjoying... I'm just not enjoying it. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching my videos. If you do enjoy them, please do consider liking and subscribing. It really does help me out a lot. And the channel is growing really, really well because of it. So thank you so much for that. And... Why is this game not over yet? <laughs> and let's go into there. And my opponent is really dragging it out, which is super frustrating. But it is what it is. And they'll come in now and Intrepid Sword. Well, not Intrepid Sword, sorry. They actually probably will Intrepid Sword, just so... Oh, I can't get, can't get drawn out. And then Brave Blade. There we go. There we go. And as always, everyone, cheers. Enjoy.